uh, for coming out uh, tonight. This is uh, an overwhelming turnout. It really is. This is the first event that I think we've done in December since I first ran for office in 2015. We did an event at Tosca that was not nearly as close as, uh, as attended as tonight's event is. So I just want to thank all of you uh, personally for your friendship, for your support. Uh, for everything over the years, this has been uh, quite a remarkable journey that we've uh, we've been able to go on um, over the past seven years. In May of this year, uh, we hit that that milestone, and I'm uh, just so incredibly proud of the work that uh, our team has been able to do here on the South Shore. You know, to to go to get into office, uh, to work there as a, a member of the staff, and then to be able to you know put our own sort of fingerprints on how we believe no, the South Shore should be represented and what we need to uh, do as a, as a community uh, to be able to build those supports in place for so many people. Uh, it's just been truly an honor. Uh, before I get into um, uh, to some more uh, remarks, I just wanted to recognize some folks who are here today. Uh, we have the Vice President of the Wayman Town Council, Mike Melise, who's here. Hopefully soon to be president of the Wayman Town Council, Michael Belize as well. We have uh, Artie Matthews, the current president of the town council. He was here earlier with Pascal Berger. We have Greg Shanahan. We have Kerry Nee from the Hingham School Committee. Uh, we have Keith German, who's the veteran service officer for the town of Hingham. We have Alan Smith, who's the president of South Shore Hospital, who's here. Uh, it really is uh, Representative David Coast is, uh, as well, my colleague in the legislature. Uh, if I miss anyone, I apologize. Uh, Greg Shannon? Did I do Greg Shannon? Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got me twice. Oh, we have Santa Claus here as well. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have Becky Haw, who's here as well, uh, former town councilor. Uh, TJ Lacey, who's here from Weymouth as well. So, um, so I, I just wanted to first, uh, before I get into kind of addressing my team and the people who uh, really make all of this stuff happen, uh, over the past seven years, um, you know, we've been able to see a lot of the things that we've invested in and a lot of the priorities that we've really taken, uh, taken a hold of. And one of the biggest ones has been helping the communities of intellectual and developmentally disabled individuals throughout the South Shore. See the Joyce's back there who came into my office literally the first or second week that I was on the job. They came into our office when we were at 777 Broad Street and uh, talked about a challenging circumstance that happened inside of their family. We went through years of, uh, of putting legislation in place and getting something passed to make sure that no one who works in a group home ever abuses a person who is an occupant of that group home ever again. So, so thank you guys. And, uh, you know, in addition to that, there's so many unbelievable organizations that are uh, throughout the South Shore that every single day go above and beyond for our communities. And to be able to go through the budgetary process and secure records amounts of funding year after year after year in order to make sure that we uplift their cause, to make sure we continue to make those investments that are needed in places like Friendship Home and ARC and Road to Responsibility and so many other groups that just do work that if, if, it, were, if it weren't being done... Uh, by them, then it would have been on the responsibility of the government to try and get that done. And one of the things that I've, I've really focused in on has been, you know, our budget. Over the past few years, we've gone through incredible uh, prosperity as a, as a commonwealth, and we've been able to make those investments. We've been able to give free community college to individuals over the age of 25 that, uh, that didn't have an opportunity to go to college. We've been able to make record investments inside of our education, inside of our social safety nets, record investment into bringing business and development to the Commonwealth, and all of these things wouldn't be able to have happened uh, in the South Shore and throughout the Commonwealth without people like you coming out and spending your time on a very busy December, um, you know, very busy time of year to be able to, to come out and support us and our mission. Uh, it means so much to me to have your friendship and support, and even more than that, it means so much to me to have the team that I've surrounded myself with. Uh, we've had a unbelievable, we actually had a review done and we've had the least amount of turnover in our office of any one of the Senate offices. Uh, and I believe that that's a testament. And that's a testament to the hard work and dedication that, that they bring to the job every single day. 
Uh, we have Greg Denton, who's my chief of staff, who does an amazing job. Hey, Johnny Depp! We have Tom Scale, who joined the uh, team as a new legislative director. We have Lou Rizzo, who's over here, who's our yeah. And we have, uh, we have Mike Murphy, who is under the weather today, but has helped so many people day in and day out. So let's hear from her. Um, to close, um, again, just such deep appreciation for all of you uh, and supporting our mission and our cause and to make South Shore an even better place to live, to work, and raise a family. But at its core, uh, government, in my opinion, is about helping people. I think that government in many state capitals across the country, and especially down in D.C., has lost that as their core focus. And people go for cheap talking points and to be on, you know, news magazine shows and spout, you know, criticisms against the people in which don't agree with what they believe in. In Massachusetts, and the way that I've operated myself, it's bringing the best people, whether a Democrat or Republican or an independent or a conservative or a liberal, to the table to address the issues that we have. And to take every idea as an idea, or not as a political talking point, or not as something that's what? ideological, but to actually make sure that we make a difference. And to make sure at the end of the day, we leave this district, we leave our community, we leave the state in an even better place than we found it. And I truly believe that what we're doing day in and day out is striving to that mission, and I think that we're succeeding. And Massachusetts, unlike many other states, you know, when you look at the things that people care about, whether Wherever you fall in the political spectrum, you care about making sure that people have opportunity, making sure that children can grow up and get a good education, making sure if you fall upon tough times that there's safety nets there to give you a helping hand up. That is what government's about. And you have my word that as I continue in this position, that that will be my core focus and something that, um, that we deliver every single day for people on the South Shore. So thanks, everyone.